General Andrews, and the Dream Stream presents Rapid Runs. All right, so. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Linkermeister. I will be doing Gods, uh, the Super Nintendo version. Um, so lore of this game is the gods uh, are trying. The gods are trying to find someone who can take back the Citadel and kill the four guardians. And whoever does that uh, gets one wish granted. And well, we want to live among the gods, so we're gonna we're gonna try to kill all the four guardians. But they hope we don't succeed because you know. They don't want someone that's not a god to live to live among them, but uh, hopefully I'm gonna prove them wrong. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna count down for free. I'm gonna start to run. So we're gonna go three, two, one, go. So there's four levels. Each level has three worlds. Uh, we started at the city. So yeah, as I said, was, uh, this is an originally an uh, old Amiga game. Uh, that game ran really slow, like twice as slow. This one actually is like super fast compared to that, and it's uh, running on uh, NTSC, so basically it's even faster. So, as you can see, there are like four slots at the bottom, only three of them can be filled, which is, I don't know, kind of dumb. But uh, yeah, that's the game. So, I'm just gonna run around really fast. And uh, yeah, that was, that, that was World Run of level 1, so it's really fast. They're not particularly long. There's so much stuff you can actually collect, treasures and such. But yeah, I don't care about that. I'm just going to go for the game fast. So there's also a Genesis version. There is some difference with the Genesis version. Uh, the Invernability app right now on the Genesis version, for some reason, that one lasts twice as long. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. And in th this is the only version where you can actually grab ladders when you fall down. All the other versions, you cannot grab ladders. And what I just did, I jumped off the ladder to skip a uh, enemy trigger. Unfortunately, I got hit a couple times, but uh, that's perfectly fine. Kill this one. There we go. There we go. Uh, World 2 done. <clears throat> We're going to do some shopping. I'm uh, just going to buy a bunch of knives. There we go. Done. So there was actually a Gods Remastered uh, on Steam. Already got uh, already got uh, removed. I don't know. Some licensing issues now. Luckily, I actually bought the game. It was like 99 cents. But uh, yeah, there was a Gods remaster. It, it didn't look good at all, in my opinion. It was horrible. So I just got a fireball, does more damage. Gonna be another one right here. Ah, uh, that was... Ah, okay, that was unfortunate. Well... I tried to grab the key and take it that for Unfortunately, I wasn't fast enough. Luckily, none of them actually woke up so so perfectly fine so already at the boss this boss is pretty easy it does the same pattern over and over so ah, i was just a tiny tiny bit too close but that's perfectly fine so the music in this game is great not gonna lie it's actually super good i got hit again well to happen get some treasure gonna do some shopping again i'm gonna buy uh invernability and a power potion a power potion to just make sure i um have three fireballs instead of two <clears throat> i love the temple music it's great good i jumped over that Gonna take it a bit safe. Okay, I jumping over that is uh, kind of annoying to do. So now we get uh, goblets with snakes. Whenever I destroy a goblet, the snakes are completely random where they um where they go out. Yeah, 
hit that switch three times, and then we're gonna go in here and hopefully don't die. If I die here, that's a bad thing. Okay, if I died in that room, uh, I had to game over and restart this uh, level. You're supposed to have three gems to get to that key, but uh, there was a uh, gi giant jump potion to be able to get there without the gems. But uh, yeah, I don't know what the other two gems are, so. Ah, uh, close. Oh. Okay, health's low, but it's perfectly fine. Still one snake alive. There we go. Just skipping a bunch of things. There's so many things you can actually uncover in this game. So much treasure. But it's completely unnecessary. So I'm just going to take a death here. Just to make sure I don't have to use the platforms to go down. It's way too slow. <clears throat> so we're going to do some shopping again. Yeah, this dude just randomly comes out of nowhere. I don't know where. Uh, I'm going to buy a shuriken just to make sure I get some money back. I'm basically selling my knives. I'm going to get a new weapon anyway. Hit the switch twice so I don't need to hit it again after getting the key. There we go. Do this, do this. There we go. Yeah, there are switches you need, like, either you hit them in a sequence or hit them twice to get secrets. There's so many secrets that I didn't even know about how to get them. Normally, I would just take a death warp uh, later on. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make sure I actually complete the game. It is highly possible I can die to the final boss, which is... It's easy to die there. There we go. Yeah, normally I would just take a death orb here, but uh, yeah, or the nod. Go. So the thing with the Super Nintendo version is uh, there's less screen uh, real estate to see. All the other versions, you can see more more of uh, the area. Because of the lower resolution. Some nice switches. The enemy can hit me from below. It actually hit me. <laughs> it, oh, don't you dare. There we go. That one can actually, like, that enemy hit me from below through the ground. I don't know how that's possible, but uh, it, 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 it happens. Oh my god, I got a note. So here's a platform. Normally, platforms take you, uh, you don't have to do anything to go with it, but uh, this one you actually have to walk. I don't know. Oof. That's perfectly fine. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that flying enemy, uh, they, they can be random. They're quite annoying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did not know they were there. There we go. Oh, just grab some food, I guess. This one's scary to <clears throat> grab them as low as possible. Getting really close to the boss. Nice snakes. Ooh, that was that was the lowest grab I could do. 
Whoa, that was super close. That was really close. So in the Dennis version, you can actually see this boss like all the time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Make his tail go in the ground. Good. So this boss has a tail that also shoots projectiles at me. Ah. Oh, that was really close. The tail's already destroyed, so that's perfectly fine now. Come on, die. There we go. I'm going to jump into this and automatically go to the right because that's where he comes from. Uh, what am I going to buy? I'm going to buy a shuriken to get some money back. I'm going to buy invulnerability and uh, there we go. That was level two. <clears throat> Same as uh, level uh, two. I'm just going to use the invulnerability at the first world. It's going to skip a bunch of stuff. And I got a new weapon anyway. There we go. Completely ignoring everything. Just don't do anything. Just go here. This secret path opens up. You don't hit any switch that opens up. So it takes me right where I need to be. Get some uh, new weapons. The maces. Okay, there we go. That went actually really good. That's world round already done. And again, we're going to do some shopping. So I'm going to buy the, the strongest weapon in the game. I'm going to buy an axe and then a power potion because uh, buying two axes is more expensive than uh, buying one axe and a power potion, but it does the exact same thing. So there's like no difference with them. Okay, I need to jump into this guy if I don't. And he falls into that pit. Uh, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I don't know how to get that gem. It's another example of I don't know where they are. Or how to get there. So, I'm going to hit the first, the third, first, and second. There we go. This game is not particularly hard if you know what to do. And uh, all the enemy spawns are always the exact same uh, spot. There's like no randomness to it. Just a bunch of triggers you, you can uh, either skip or uh, you know where they are. There we go. Already. That was world two. This, this, this single room is world three. It's uh, done pretty quickly. I'm going to grab an extra live right here. Oh, dodge it. That just really hit me. Did I just got fall damage? Really game. Sometimes I get fall dam damage and sometimes I don't. Oh, oh, thank God that enemy didn't spawn or didn't fall out of the uh, the trap door. Here's the boss. Minotaur. Again, it does the exact same pattern over and over. Just the same attack. That was close. And he's dead. It's that easy. Grab the key and we're going to do some shopping again. Um, I'm going to buy a mace because that's a weapon I'm going to get anyway soon. And I need some money and buy an invertibility again. <clears throat> for the first room. So yeah, this is the last level. Use my invertibility right here. You're going to see why. I'm going to completely ignore everything, just destroy everything, but just walk into it. That's it. That's the literally, literally the first room. I went a bit too fast there.
Uh, that was close. <laughs> uh, I do not want to get that key pushed into the uh, spinning thing. Am I fast enough? Okay, yes. That was close. If I'm fast enough, that enemy won't be uh, on top of the door. There we go. So we're going to do one more, uh, one more time shopping. And the thing was bouncing in the air. That sometimes happens. I'm going to buy invulnerability and a magic potion. So what a magic potion does, uh, it freezes enemies for, for some time. So I'm going to use it right here. I don't worry about those. And uh oh, uh oh, there's one. Oh, that was close. Uh oh. I <laughs> of course, of course, that enemy had to drop that thing on top of me. Okay, why am why are my homing things going to the the lower ones? Those were not the closest. Thanks, game. Okay, see, here's a room. If I mess this up, it's uh, it's not a good time. Okay, good. If the enemy grabs the other item, which is the one I don't need at all, it's a bad thing. Because then I need to wait till a key spawns to open uh, that wall. And I think it's time-based, so luckily that didn't happen. There's still one more life. Yes, go two. So getting hit is perfectly fine because I'm going to take a death warp anyway. There we go. Perfect. Go grab the key. There we go. So I'm gonna jump over some triggers. Hopefully, I never really managed to get the the, the jump over the triggers, but I'm gonna try my best. I got one of them. I got one trigger. I got the last trigger. I jumped over the last one, so that's good. So I'm gonna go for a glitch here. Hopefully, I don't mess up. Uh, hope, let's see if I can still do it. Okay, I still managed to get it. There we go. If I went into the door, into the door like the first pixel, I'm able to get into the door without really moving the, the camera too far. For some reason, that thing doesn't spawn, doesn't spawn yet or doesn't close. So I can just fall down right into it. Nice. The enemy went right for me. I had zero chance of uh, dodging that. He went instantly for me. So, yeah, here's the final boss. See how this one goes. I have four lives. It should be enough. Boss fight sucks. And it just completely uh, ignored my jump input. So if I get hit by the boss, it's most of the time an instant death. Good. So those projectiles he's shooting out of his eyes, uh, the Genesis version, actually, uh, the platform doesn't block the shots. It actually just goes through it. So, so not a good thing for uh, the Super Nintendo version. <laughs> okay, good. Good so far. Uh, two more times. Oh, 
One more time, so time is coming up pretty soon. And... Time. There you go. So yeah, uh, now we get the, another great song. The final song is, is amazing in my opinion. This one is great. And uh, yeah, we are now God. Nineteen fifty one below below twenty minutes. <laughs> below twenty, it's good. So uh, yeah, uh, that's Gods. I hope everyone enjoyed uh, this run of uh, Gods of the Super Nintendo version. I tried to sneak in that restroom break and look what I get for myself, folks. <laughs> look what I get. I totally whiffed on the time to end it. Oh, man, I'm a mess. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and it's so funny, too, because I think I could have made it, but my cat just would not get out of my way on the way back from the bathroom. I'm like, please, just move. Move, little kitty. Come on. And then uh... she's all running all like... Uh, yeah, but like would stop and then turn around and then then be oh my come on please please well <laughs> thank you so much for that run dear gosh <laughs>